predictive data mining okay so predictive data mining means uh, the for the attribute values uh, for an uh, example or for the uh, for um, plotting any values we have to predict the output okay so output will be the real value because um, like uh, it can uh, we cannot replace it isn't it so the output cannot be class because uh, if it is a class we uh, we have, we can replace it by anything we uh, we can replace it by integers and all and uh, predict real value or output means uh, for um, given uh, input uh, for given input and or for given uh, um, training data set uh, we can uh, predict the uh, real value real value or output that means the, it is a, a supervised learning isn't it uh, for example uh, predicting a rainfall um, rainfall for a month and all we can use uh, we can use regression model for that <clears throat> So uh, in the regression model, some of the terms are there like uh, multivariate is there, univariate is there. So in the multivariate, you can see that um, y, y equal to f, x1, x2. So there are um, two, uh, like x1, x2, there are many variables, isn't it? Uh, many variables are there. Uh, so um, this is a this is a, what we call known as a multivariable, multivariable. Like, uh, why is the why is that um, so and why is the y uh, dependent variable and x is the independent variable so here uh, y, <coughs> y we can represent this one like this one um, y equal to fx uh, same similar uh, similar to the multivariate multivariable <coughs> and f is here is the regression function model so the model f determines how the dependent variable uh, y depends on the independent variable so when we try to make a relation between the independent uh, variable and the dependent variable, that is what is called uh, regression. So here is the uh, linear regression. So re what I've told that uh, linear regression is the method to uh, predict the uh, dependent variable. That is why. Okay, that is the why. And based on the <clears throat> based on the value of the independent variable x, we have to predict some uh, continuous quantity. So here uh, the um, uh, we have seen that there are lots of data points. Uh, remember one thing: uh, if the data points is uh, above the line of the regression, it puts more impact while predicting uh, something, while predicting anything uh, like uh, uh, any condition is given to us. So we have to observe these data points precisely. So there are two types of uh, linear regression. The first is simple linear regression, and the second one is multi multiple linear regression. See here, uh, simple linear regression, uh, the form of model it represents is y equal to beta naught plus beta one x. So it is similar to, mm, similar like that one, uh, y equal to c plus mx, uh, where c is the intercept and m is the slope and all. So here, um, y, y is the dependent variable, isn't it? And um, beta naught beta naught is the regression coefficient <coughs> regression coefficient and b uh, beta 1 will be the slope and x is the x x is the independent variable similar it is similar uh, to that one only uh, like y equal to c plus mx so uh, in multi multiple linear regression uh, the form of model is y equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 so there are um, more than one uh, more than one independent variable, isn't it? So that what we known as uh, multiple li linear regression. Okay. So if there is only one independent variable, that is linear, uh, simple linear regression. Yeah. So linear regression selection criteria. So first point is the classification regression capabilities. So when we will select linear regression, suppose uh, the uh, but the value we will predict it is continuous variable like uh, the um, predicting the temperature of the city it will continuous then uh, linear regression will be the good choice for us next is the data quality matters suppose uh, there are lots of outliers are there so uh, if there is outliers if we do not remove that outlier then it will disturb the outcomes so the uh, if we use uh, um, uh, linear regression while well, um, and uh, there is lots of outliers are there in the data set, then um, linear regression with, uh, is not the right choice for us. We can use different algorithm. So if we want to use linear regression, then uh, we have to remove the outliers. We can do that. 
and computational complexity. Uh, it is not that expensive because uh, like uh, like decision tree, it, it takes takes lots of time, right? Uh, it take at least, um, it depends, but uh, it to take uh, eight minutes like uh, to visualize the graph and all. But um, uh, linear regression uh, is not that, that much computational expensive. It can easily, like uh, we can run that uh, model, we can train that model easily. <coughs> yeah, logistic regression. So logistic regression is also a supervised, uh, supervised uh, regression, and it, um, but it um, works for the classification, right? Um, in linear regression, what we do, we uh, we uh, solve the uh, regression problems and all. And in um, logistic regression, we just uh, solve the classification problem. And it uh, represent uh, with graph. And we must remember one y will be between zero and one. Okay, zero and one. And the nature of the target of the dependent variable is dichotomous. This means that uh, there would be only two possible classes. Fine. Difference. So, uh, so I told that linear regression is for continuous variable, isn't it? If we want to predict some continuous uh, value uh, for the for y, uh, so we can use that uh, linear regression. And logistic regression is for categorical value. That is the it most uh, uh, it is most discrete in nature. Okay, like it is it will rain or not, we can predict it. And uh, Linear regression is used to solve regression problem. So here uh, the regression uh, problems mean the, the concept of this one, independent variable, dependent variable. Among. Solve classification problem. Logistic regression is used to solve class classification problem, like it classify and provide us uh, the uh, information uh, that the event is happening or not. And here, uh, linear regression using Sigma graph or S graph. Okay, see the code. <clears throat> this is the code of uh, linear regression. So first, at first, what uh, we, what we can see uh, that we are uh, importing, right? We are importing. It is available. Okay, this uh, Boston uh, house pricing data set is available on the uh, Scikit-Learn library. You can just import it, and you can see because everything I can, uh, cannot uh, give this one. Uh, the printing uh, the, um, data set I cannot provide everything. So. Uh, in the first line, first line, so from uh, scikit learn dot data set import load Boston, and then uh, Boston equal to load uh, load underscore Boston function. So in the first line, first above um, line, what we have did, we have just imported the load Boston data set. Okay, from the data set collection which is present in the uh, scikit learn library. Then in the second line, what I have did, uh, we have just put the uh, load Boston in the um, Boston uh, Boston variable for the further use. And import pprint is nothing, okay. So the pprint means pretty print library, and we can use this um, if we used to um, make our output look pretty and understandable. Nothing else. <clears throat> okay. So in the second line, we can see that uh, what is this? Uh, creating two data frame array of the target. We have just created data frame using the pandas library. Okay, data frame is just a word, uh, just for making the um, set or array of the data. And okay, so D underscore X, what is this? Uh, contains the data or the features of the house. Okay, with the column uh, equal to Boston dot future features dot underscore name, which is also an array present in the data set. And D under D uh, data frame underscore F contains the target prices respectively. And in the third uh, third part, uh, selecting the linear regression model, uh, it is quite simple. We have just select, imported the linear regression model from the uh, scikit-learn library and giving the model uh, to the variable model. For the, and in the fourth, uh, we can see that uh, splitting, we have splitted the data set into uh, testing and training phase. Okay, we are using the train underscore test underscore split from the Second library, and the <clears throat> you can see the four data frames are there. Okay, data for data data frame, target data frame, test underscore size, and random state. Random state is 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 used to just to shuffle the data, and and yeah, and test size I have heard again uh, zero point two. That means the twenty percent test size and training uh, training will be eighty percent. It will automatically automatic will be uh, will be taken. So here in the train and the predict. <clears throat> so here, what we have taken, uh, we have taken two parameters, X train and Y train. Okay, and the train models we have given to the data set. Now 
we will predict the y test from the x test data set using the selected model that is the linear regression fine <clears throat> now uh, next we will put the predicted array value in the result variable so what i have given result uh, result is 4 okay result is 4 uh, from, uh, to print the fourth uh, predicted value you can see the outcome what is the outcome uh, 36.92 okay so you can check the fourth value what is it uh, 226.37.6 right it is pretty close isn't it so okay now nah, 36.92 is nothing it is just the serial number okay against the x y uh, x underscore data test data set uh, which uh, has been selected randomly okay so this is how you can uh, use the uh, you can predict the um, white uh, y that is the uh, dependent variable uh, from the independent so thank you Okay, thank you, Ankit. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, can you come back to the uh, one slide bit uh, scroll? Oh, I have a yes, question. Uh, in the okay, okay, fine. Uh, Wait. You in the oh, wait, Raju? Ah, uh, I have to share again. Uh, in the uh, uh, linear regression part, uh, the code uh, you said okay, about okay. Sure, something sure, about. Sure. Okay, sure. Uh, wait, wait. Let me share. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Wait, let me make. Okay, uh, which one? Uh, okay, huh? uh, yeah, yeah. In the last uh, uh, line, last word, the random state. Uh, why have you used random state here? What? Yeah, just to shuffle. The I told. Uh, yeah, just to shuffle the data. Random state. Uh, yeah, I have. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, random state equal to four. You can take any value just to shuffle the uh, data. Data. Is there any purpose of putting random state, or we can use without the random state? Uh, no, no. You can use. We can train the model. We can train the model without random state. But just to shuffle the data, you can use. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah. we uh, yeah. we can shuffle data, data. Uh, in the next time when we uh, run the whole uh, sheet, uh, then the mm -hmm. output will be same or different. Mm -hmm. No, it depends actually. Okay, it depends. Okay, uh, uh, if you are talking about accuracy, it depends. It may be different. Um, if you suppose if you train the model similar to uh, my code them similar then also it will be different if you like it depends on the computational also i have checked like if it is uh, um, like uh, sometime it ta uh, take the same code but the accuracy is completely different or even the uh, um, this one the plot but uh, here the output will be similar because if you provide the array i have provided the array for now yeah, yeah. So the if uh, the um, value I have uh, what we have get the random value the random value we have get got that uh, thirty six point ninety two okay so it will be uh, similar there will be no difference but if we're talking for accuracy then there may be different it may be different okay okay uh, I am asking just uh, this this little question uh, if you are okay. uh, running this okay. Uh, if you are mm -hmm. really uh, running the uh, all cells, will your uh, training set and uh, test set will be different or same? Mm, in no. the uh, line number seven yeah. you compiled, uh, in the line <coughs> number you, uh, uh, seven, just the previous slide, uh, you, you mm -hmm. mentioned that random state is equal to four. Okay. If you mm -hmm. recompile this, uh, this uh, particular line, mm -hmm. will this uh, generate the different split or the same? Uh, Data set. Suppose you have a data set, uh, data frame that uh, DY you have uh, created, right? That Boston you have uh, mm -hmm. created. Now you are splitting. Mm -hmm. If you are rerunning this uh, particular cell, will this mm -hmm. uh, pre uh, pr uh, what, uh, print the same uh, set of test data or training data or different? It will be different uh, because random state is four, right? It will shuffle the data. And if you are, yeah, but the test data will be 20% uh, only, isn't it? Your question is this one: uh, it, uh, uh, the testing data will be shuffled or not, isn't it? 
my question is that uh, yes, the uh, test data will be shuffled as twenty uh, percent of the whole data set, right? Green mm -hmm. data is the eighty uh, percent, and this is twenty percent, uh, right? So, mm -hmm. will this uh, while this uh, splitting the data set, will this mm -hmm. uh, if I run this again, will the mm -hmm. green data and the test data will be remain same, or it will be shuffling again? No, it will remain uh, same. I think uh, because uh, test data will be uh, twenty percent only. If we run again, it will change or what? Uh, mm -hmm. I mean to say the I values, values in the values in the test data oh, and the uh, train data. Yeah, it will yes. fill. It will fill. So I have to uh, take in this one now. Uh, random state four. Okay. Uh, so uh, from my side, I guess uh, is there in, uh, in the meeting someone uh, who have the. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, can explain this further, you know? Hello, Muhari. Uh, Ankit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure that random state four means your uh, data set will be shuffled? Are you sure about that? Yeah, I thought. Uh, yeah, not thought. Actually, I studied about it, so it was written that way is to shuffle and also I have uh, um, told it this one that it will no, shuffle. Uh, actually, okay. in, uh, what I am. Uh, <laughs> What I have so is that the random mm -hmm. state four does not shuffle the data. Actually, okay, okay. it uh, always shuffle. Uh, even if you run this cell again and again, the same mm -hmm. order of shuffling will be done every time. If you state this random state as none, then your data will not be shuffled. Actually, that random state actually is means that every time you uh, execute this uh, cell again and again, then your data set will not be shuffled randomly. Mm -hmm. It will shuffle in the same order. Mm -hmm. I have this confusion because you are saying that it will be shuffled uh, again and again in yeah, the yeah. new order. That's why I have the confusion. Okay, I asked. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, okay. Raja, anything more? Okay. Okay, thank, thank you, Ankit. Uh, that was a wonderful presentation. Uh, okay, okay. I have thank no you. more questions. If anyone have any question, uh, you can oh. ask Ankit. Or Ankit will ask you a question. <laughs> <coughs> so, should I end the my presentation? Okay, or you can end now. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, yes, you can end. Thank. Okay. okay uh, thank you. Uh, next, we can go for uh, who is in the meeting. Uh, let's see. From uh, anyone want to come up? Uh, all I will be calling the names. Anyone? I see no one is uh, responding to me. I will go serially again uh, in the last session. OK, uh, Yumit. Yumit, are you there? Please respond. If you don't, I will be noting down your names. OK, he is not responding. Amrin. Amrin. Roll number eight, integrated MSCIT. Amrin. Rip Jyoti. Okay, uh, Rahish. Rahish. Uh, hello. Oh yes, uh, you can start. Uh, from where? Uh, regression. Uh, okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rahish Kogai. I'm talking. I'm going to talk about logistic regression. In the logistic regression is used to model the probability of certain classes or event existing such as pass or fail uh, and like something like that. Win or lose, alive or dead or healthy or sick. The, this can be extended to extended to models uh, several classes of events such as determining 
whether an image can contains a lion image like uh, cats and dogs and other things each object can be detected in the image would be a sign as a uh, probability between 0 and 1 with a sum of 1 Lo logistic regression is a statistical model that in its basic form uses a logistic function to model a binary dependent variable through although many complex extension exist in uh, in, uh, in regression analysis logistic regression is estimated the parameters of a logical model mathematically a binary logistic model has a dependent variable with two possible values uh, such as pass or fail uh, uh, then where the two variables are labeled as uh, 0 and 1. In the logistic model, the uh, odds of odds for the value labeled 1 is a linear combination of one or more independent variables. The independent variables can be binary variables or a continuous variables. The corresponding probability of a value Label one can be vary between zero and one, hence the labeling. The function that converts log odds to probability is the logistic function, hence the name. The unit of measurement for the log odds scale is called log, log it from logistic unit, hence the alternative names. Then, in binary logistic regression model, the dependent variable has two levels category into input with uh, more than two values or multi are modeled by multinomial logistic regression and if the multiple categories are ordered by ordinary ordinal logistic regression the logistic regression model itself implements model probability of output in terms of input and does not perform statistical classification it can be used for to make a classifier for instance by choosing a cutoff value and classifying input with probability greater than cutoff as of one class uh, uh, that's all thank you okay uh, in the uh, between you said uh, logistic regression uses independent variable or all in the state something like that right right uh, yes, Raish. yes 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 uh, you said a uh, logistic regression uh, uh, predicted the uh, uh, dependent value or a uh, independent value independent uh, are you sure yes uh okay um so what is this uh so someone in the uh, mid, uh class can explain this hello hello okay Okay, let's go to the next uh, person who is in the next. Okay, after uh, Rahish, roll number 28. Roll number 28. No response. Number 28. Okay, after roll number 28, 32. Roll number 32, Vishwa. Are you guys there or not? Hello. Row number 43 for the.
Fardin. Hirok. Biplop. Hello. Okay, Biplop. Ah, yes, Biplop. You yes. can start. Biblop, are you starting? Hello. Okay, I guess Biblop. Fish. Fish. Okay. No response. I am repeating again. You guys won't be. Uh, getting attendance for today's class. I'm looking down everyone names who are not responding right now. Nibir, are you ready? You want to say something, but your mic was not. Hello, Nibir. Manta Manta Hello
Hello. Uh, students, I have seen that you are not responding to Raju's call. Okay, this is not actually accepted. We have given you enough time for this simple topic. Regression, okay. Regression analysis, linear and logistic. Thus, you need to go through at least 10 points. That's a sufficient, okay. Which will take hardly 10 minutes to perform that. Yes. Uh, so you have you are not responding to Raju's call. It is really not acceptable. So Raju, uh, I'm audible yes, now. Sir. Yes. yes, sir. So yeah, if anyone wants to give the presentation, then please give. Otherwise, we'll conclude this session. We are giving you one more chance, please. This is not a like question answering session. This is the kind of discussion that I'm as uh, I'm not actually uh, in means involving myself in that discussion. This I'm asking you. I'm giving you one topic that you need to discuss. That's that's also you are not responding. This not good. Still, anyone wants to give? Please respond. अगर कोई देना चाहते तो फिर बोलिए अनम्यूट कीजिए और बोलिए नहीं तो मैं इसको टर्मिनेट कर दूंगा इस सेशन को उसके बाद जो हो रहा है वो आपको ग्रुप में रिफ्लेक्ट हो जाएगा कि आज का अटेंडेंस क्या है आई थिंक वन रेज हिज हैंड निबिर फ्रॉम एमसीए यू वांट टू गिव द प्रेजेंटेशन Please start. Otherwise, I will continue. This. Hindi, your voice is not coming. I, I, I think some mic problem is there. See, the, the other guys like Amki, Raju, uh, Navjyoti, and those other guys, they they are really in. Seriously considering this discussion. discussion, every day they are participating in this discussion. Then why not you? Only one day in the week. Yeah, if you don't do this, how will you learn? Tell me. At least, you should be involved in some way. You should be involved in some way. This topic has been given. It's happening in a week. If you don't say anything, then what will happen? What will happen? What will happen? What will happen? और यहाँ पे तो मैंने अभी रुको मैं कितने पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं लेट मी सी दिस लो सर टोटल ट्वेंटी थ्री देखो ऐसे नॉर्मल सेशन में जब मैं कुछ ऐसा काम नहीं देता हूँ तो मैं देखता हूँ आ मोर पार्टिसिपेंट्स और आज ट्वेंटी फोर इसका मतलब मैं क्या समझूँ बताओ अरे ये तो क्लासरूम प्रेजेंटेशन भी नहीं है आपको एक आपने एक अपने मन के हिसाब से एक बना लो स्लाइड थोड़ा बहुत उसको पढ़ो और उसको बोल दो एटलीस्ट ये भी नहीं कर रहे हो आप लोग यार व्हाट इज दिस नाउ टुडे यू आर इन नाइन्थ सेमेस्टर पीजी में हो आप लोग अभी मैं लास्ट जब आप लोगों को पढ़ाया था आई थिंक यू आर इन यूजी नाउ यू आर इन जी बिग डिफरेंस यार यू शुड नॉट डू लाइक दिस इस ट्वेंटी फोर में से कितने जन ने दिया राजू मैंने एक जन का तो सुना था अंकित का बहुत अच्छा था प्रेजेंटेशन सिर्फ दो लोग ने दिया सर सर अंकित एंड रहीश अंकित एंड रहीश ने दिया सर रियली वेरी क्या बताऊं मैं अब सर 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 सर
ये सबको हटा देना ये बाद में अटेंडेंस में देख लेना हां इतना अगर सर मैं सब सबका मार्क कर लिया सर जो अटेंडेंस मतलब जिसने मेरा रिस्पोंड नहीं किया सर सबका मैंने मार्क कर लिया सर और आई गेस समवन सम स्टूडेंट्स आर जॉइनिंग राइट नाउ सर आई डोंट सी रो नंबर 51 और इन द मिडिल आई गेस आई सॉ जस्ट राइट नाउ रो नंबर 51 हु इज देयर जस्ट टू देप आई गेस यस दिस इज नॉट द राइट टाइम टू जॉइन दिस इज 10:14 ओनली 6 मिनट लेफ्ट Not the right time to join. Sir, yeah, I guess he joined. Huh? Sir, usne shayad se jab join. Yeah. Main sir jab apko waha call kiya tha sir shayad se tab join kiya. Because jab main sir slide karke names read out karata sir ye nahi tha sir. Arey yar tu. D W D M. Ye paper ko kya lagta hai aap logo batao. What do you think about this paper? Huh? Aise hi ho jayega pass kar loge. No one wants to learn. I think. I don't want to learn. 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 I few students uh, ask few question to akit uh, he, he tried his best to answer those question aisa nahi hai ki hame sahi answer hi dena hai aisa nahi hai just discuss kar rahe hain yaar main koi bhai va nahi le raha hu abhi aap this is not exam main koi bhai kuch bhi bhai va nahi le raha hu aap log theek hai aap sikh rahe hain i you are just learning isme ab matlab ye target nahi karunga main bhai len ki aapko mark deduct karna hai ya aapko ये ये प्रूफ करके दिखाना है कि आपको कुछ नहीं आता है बस कुछ टॉपिक कुछ टर्म सपोज मुझे लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन में कार्व के बारे में नहीं समझ में आ गया लिनियर रिग्रेशन में कार्व के बारे में समझ में नहीं एक क्या स्ट्रेट लाइन है तो ये सारे चीज डिस्कस करो ठीक है ये हम सीखने के लिए डिस्कस कर रहे हैं हम इस चीज के लिए कि किसी को ये प्रूफ करने के लिए कि तुमको कुछ नहीं आता राइट right? तो ये भी नहीं कर रहा बल, बल्कि मुझे ये चीज अच्छा लगा कि जो अंकित के केस में हुआ अंकित के केस में आप लोगों ने पार्टिसिपेट किया ओके सो दैट इज वेरी वेरी गुड थिंग ओके सो दिस सेशन मुझे अच्छा भी लगा और आप जो भी जो मैक्सिमम लोगों ने रिस्पॉन्स नहीं किया ये बहुत बुरा लगा ठीक है ये न, नहीं करना नेक्स्ट सेशन यू शुड नॉट डू दिस and the topic for the next session i think uh, do i need to change it or i have to keep the same rajiv kya karu change karu ya yahi topic rakhu sir same matlab do session ke liye sir hum log same rakh sakte hain do session ke liye matlab last time bhi hum log ne i guess do session ke liye sir same rakha tha ओके तो फिर मैं नेक्स्ट सेशन के लिए भी ये लिनियर रिग्रेशन और लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन जो है ना यही रखा फिर से आप लोगों को वन वीक का टाइम दे रहा हूँ ठीक है आई एम गिविंग वन वीक ऑफ टाइम एक आधा घंटा वाला जो टॉपिक है ना उसके लिए मैं फिर से एक वीक का टाइम दिया हूँ अब नेक्स्ट सेशन में मैं देखूंगा कि कितने लोग पार्टिसिपेट करोगे ठीक है इतना टाइम तो आई थिंक काफी है यस यस सर हाँ राजे बोलो सर नहीं वो सर कॉल करके बोलूंगा सर सर मतलब एस सी एस के वेबसाइट से खुश कोई बात नहीं अभी बोल सकते लोग स्ट्रक्चर ट्रांसफर बोले थोड़ा सा बात स्ट्रक्चर ऑल सर हम लोग ने तीन बना दिया है बाकी सब बाकी है सर वो थ्री बन गया ना ऑलमोस्ट अच्छा अच्छा ये सर ट्री बन रहा है सर और चार फोल्डर बनाने से हो जाएगा सर मतलब मेन वाले ओके तो ठीक मतलब उसमें हाँ बोलो सर उसमें मतलब बहुत सारे मतलब ईयर वाइज बी वाइज देकर रखे तो मतलब कौन सा फाइल कहा जाएगा सर वो उसमें डाउट हो गया फिर से देखो उसमें क्या होगा जैसे कि 1.1.2 ऐसा मैं सिंपल सा एग्जांपल के लिए ले रहा हूँ Mm-hmm. 1.1.2 में कुछ कैलकुलेशन yes. हो रहा है उसमें देखना में एक फॉर्मूला होगा ठीक है 
उस फॉर्मूला में कभी कभी ऐसा होता है yes, लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स का डेटा हम कैलकुलेट करते हैं मतलब लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स होगा 2015 से सपोज 2015 टू 16 16 टू 17 मतलब ऐसा ऐसा कुछ डेटा रहेगा तो ये डेटा का फाइल्स एज ए प्रूफ सही होगा हमें जैसे मैंने मान लिया कि नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड असम फ्रॉम द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दिस 2015 में कुछ नंबर्स रहेगा 16 में कुछ होगा 17 में होगा है ना ये तो हमने लिख के yes. उसमें लिख दिया है और इसका फाइल्स भी तो होगा ना कहीं पे जो ये रिकॉर्ड होगा तो आप लोगों को क्या करना है वो फाइल का जो रिकॉर्ड है ये जो ड्राइव है जो आपने देखा ही है एस सी एस कुछ नाम से जब जी मेल का एक अकाउंट है ना उसको उसका ड्राइव में वो ईयर वाइज उस चीज को देख के रखा है जस्ट उस चीज का उस फोल्डर का लिंक को आपको वहां पे शेयर करना उसमें उस लिंक मतलब जैसे हमने वो क्लिक किया ना तो वो फाइल जहाँ पे रखा हुआ है yes, वहां पर आ जाना चाहिए ठीक है और इसमें एक्चुअली मैंने उस दिन मीटिंग में ही कहा था मैंने टू क्रिटेरियन टू को इवेलुएट किया था आई नो इस एंड एवरी डिटेल्स ऑफ क्रिटेरियन टू जिसमें 15 टू 20 फॉर्मूलास था क्रिटेरियन टू वन एक uh, कोई और एक जन ने कैलकुलेट किया था राना नाम से पहले था एक ठीक है तो वो अभी नहीं yes, है एक्चुअली मुझे भी किटेन वा के इनके बारे में इतना डिटेल्स पता नहीं क्योंकि जिन्होंने कैलकुलेट किया है चीजों को उनको उनके पास ये चीज आइडिया रहता है मतलब हाँ ये वाला फाइल ले लिया था जैसे किटेन टू में मैंने सारे जितने भी आ, फाइल सही होता सही था वो सारे चीज कलेक्ट करके उस फॉर्मूला में फुट अप करके वेल्यू निकाला था राइट right? तो मुझे उसका पूरा ए टू जेड डिटेल्स पता है मैं आपको बोल दूंगा कि ये वाला फाइल मैं उस दिन मीटिंग में यही बोल रहा था कि किटेरियन वन जिन्होंने उन्होंने किया नहीं था पुनेंदु जी को पुनेंदु सर को भी क्या है शायद अगर किटेन वन के बारे में पता होगा फाइल तो वो फच्चे आपको बोल सकते हैं ये यहाँ पे ही है ठीक है तो हम क्या करेंगे राज yes, जैसे आप क्या करना आप लोग मैं आप तो भी मान के चल रहा हूँ क्योंकि आपके ग्रुप में आई थिंक और तीन चार जन भी है बट आपको ही मैं कम्युनिकेट करूंगा आप क्या करना पहले आप देखना वो फोल्डर करके हाँ ये वाला फाइल मिल रहा है नहीं मिल रहा है सपोज तब हम क्या करेंगे हम साथ में एक मीटिंग किया करेंगे मतलब सपोज पुनेन्दु जी को भी रख लेंगे क्योंकि कुछ कुछ फाइल्स का इन्फॉर्मेशन उनके पास ज्यादा अच्छे से है कुछ कुछ फाइल्स का इन्फॉर्मेशन मेरे पास अच्छा है जो मैंने को yes, मतलब मेरे पास है वो मैं डायरेक्ट आपको बता दूंगा आप, अभी तक आई थिंक आप किटेन टू नहीं पहुंचा होगा सर सर टू वाला सर uh, कर दिया है सर टू वन टू एंड फोर सर क्रिएट हो चुका है बाकी सब क्रिएट हो रहा है सर नहीं ट्री क्रिएट कर लिया सपोज उस ट्री के एक साफ फोल्डर के अंदर जो लिंक देना है जहां पे वो फाइल रखा है वो किया है नहीं किया होगा सर ये आ, सर एक काम कर रहा है मुझे वो उसका लिंक भेजो जल्दी से मतलब वन का जितना क्राइटेरियर वन के अंदर जितना सर ये मतलब प्लानेटिस हो रहा है सर मैं आपको ये क्लास के बाद सर भेज दूं हां भेज दीजिए जैसे क्रिएट के Yes, sir. हाँ, हाँ, वो मेरा फिर से एक जन के साथ वो है मतलब कुछ रिसर्च का तो आप अभी भेज दो yes, मैं देख के आपको फिर से रेस्पॉन्स करूंगा ठीक है बट आई मस्ट से डेट यू आर डूइंग वेरी गुड जॉब राजू ठीक है इससे आपको बहुत कुछ सीखने को भी मिलेगा और जिस सिंसियरिटी से आप काम कर रहे हो ना आई मस्ट से इज वेरी गुड ओके ठीक है तो फिर एक क्लास का एंड करता हूँ मैं थैंक यू ऑल ओके बाय बाय थैंक्स सर बाय